All right, so here's another um, sort of an advanced lesson in ChemDraw. I uh, just want to show you some more interesting features. Um, so right now I'm um, sort of modifying my homework questions for Chem 241. Uh, it's something that I do every year, and you'll see that it's kind of easy to do. So I've already drawn a bunch of structures and what I want to do now is I kind of want to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, so for instance, these three structures are going to be in a problem. So I want to make sure that I move these so that there's sufficient room so that you can see the differences. Now a couple of things that you can do um, by coming up here to object so one of the things that I can do with an object is I can flip it in a horizontal way. And you can see how that one is flipped. This one here, uh, I can flip vertically, um, and it just does that. Um, you can, if you rotate it 180 degrees, that's the same thing as flipping it, so I'm not sure why they do that. Um, you can rotate it by a particular amount. So if I want to rotate it by 90, and you can do it clockwise or counterclockwise, um, you can do that. You can also freehand rotate it. Um, and it'll actually tell you, you can see it tells you the angle that you're rotating it at. So I want to go back to where I was here. Um, another thing that you can do is if you select a group of structures, and you want to make sure that they're aligned. That one didn't work. I'm going to use this tool. And you want to make sure that they're aligned. You can um, align them so that their top and bottom centers are aligned. Um, sometimes it will be useful to align them such that their, their bottom edges are aligned. Um, it just depends on whatever the situation is. Um, if you align them as left to right centers, you notice that they overlap, so that's kind of silly. So I'm just going to hit uh, Command Z to separate them again. Um, some of these other ones um, I don't really oftentimes use, um, but if you did, if you, for instance, added braces, it, it automatically puts that in. Um, I'm going to command Z out of that. Um, if I wanted to do that, a lot of times I'll just do that freehand. So this is the equivalent to that. Um, but once again, I don't need that. So, um, so now I want to bring this over to my homework assignments. So that's an exam, and here's my homework. Um, and the homework that I need to put it into is right here. So I'm going to delete the old one, and then um, uh, Command V to put in the new one. And there it is. So um, that's how you do that. Um, just some other features that you may want to use from time to time. Once again, up here in object, um, the default is fixed lengths and fixed angles. Um, sometimes you may not want to do fixed lengths and fixed angles. Um, you can uh, just click out of that. And now, for instance, when you use your long bond one, you don't have any way of controlling, or you do have ways of controlling the size now, um, just by, and you should try this on your own just to see how you can control that. Um, I haven't had a chance to show some stereochemistry. Um, let me go back to uh, fixed lengths, because that's what I generally like to keep. Um, but uh, wedge bonds, hash uh, bonds for stereochemistry. Um, 
anyways, that's just uh, some, some additional features for you uh, to use. Um, I never really use curves. You can use colors. Um, for instance, if you come down here and uh, select the chlorine, you could highlight in, it in red um, if you wanted to. Um, I tend not to do that as much, uh, but if you were, for instance, putting together a presentation, you might want to do that. Um, but these are just simple um, pictures, and so you can select uh, things. So I can uh, select uh, an object or a group of objects, um, and then just hit Control C. And then if I wanted to, I just stick it in an email. Um, and for instance, I could email that off to the class. Um, and when you get the email, you can select it. And then you can actually manipulate it back in ChemDraw. So if I just hit Control V, it just sticks it in some random place. And then you can move it to wherever you want. And Maybe add some more things to it. So those are just some more features of ChemDraw. Um, it is something that I encourage you to play around with just to practice and you'll become uh, quite adept at it pretty quickly.